Hello, hello, and welcome back once again. Here we are in the dungeon. We're gonna go ahead and get some more resources. We need some more ectoplasm, again, to make some more naughty presents. Once we get that started, we'll go ahead and take on the Frost Moon once again, hopefully with much better luck than last time, since we dodge you, or maybe we don't. These guys are everywhere down here. Hold on. Let me make sure I got my spore sack out. Hey, there we go. Hey, switching out the worm scarf, but at the same time, I need to get the extra damage. A lot of people didn't know this about the spore sack. Every time you hit one of the casters, you know how they teleport. But with the spore sack, they don't teleport, so it actually works out very awesome. Like, they can actually be a great way against the casters. Keeps them in check, really. Again, these guys, maybe not so much. Okay, there we go. Come on. So yeah, we need- I'm probably gonna try to get at least maybe 10 ectoplasm. So that way we can be prepared in case the next moon does not work out too well in our favor. But at least we got the Eye of Cthulhu with our yo-yo bag, which is making all the difference here. All this DPS is very lovely. Actually having everything pulled together works out really, really well. Go ahead and gather something. Unfortunately, ectoplasm is not really happening here. So I'm not gonna keep you here the whole time. We'll go ahead and fast forward it at some point. But yes, we have more Frost Moon on tap today. I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and do a Duke Fish Run here really soon. Duke Fish Run would give us a nice shrimpy truffle mount, which is really cool to say the least. Some people would actually like it more than the UFO mount. I can understand why when you get to a certain point, you get a nice damage buff and a nice speed increase, whether it's in water or again, below 50% health. Hope you guys recently enjoyed the Terraria Top 5 Expert Mode Exclusive Items. Took a little bit, but we did get one out. Again, hope you guys really enjoyed. I will work on more Terraria Helping Hands, by the way. I did say there was another tactic on beating the Moon Lord. I will explain that soon, hopefully. Just trying to get everything under wraps. If you're a big fan of a lot of the series on the channel, I'm gonna try to reel in everything. I wanted to do a more Minecraft series. I did the 1.9 bit. But to be honest, I have to admit that it hasn't turned out the way I'd hoped. Like recording footage wise and all. I think it might be better off as a live stream, to be honest. I don't know what else to do with that. I mean, it's not that there's lack of content, but for me, it's a bit of a lack of focus. I think I have more fun just kind of like relaxing and chilling than I do recording. And besides, editing begins a little bit more tricky with that kind of series, to be honest. So that may be just a live stream bit. Who knows? We'll do it for a little bit. Also, hey, goodness, goodness, goodness. Also, I want to start focusing again on other stuff as well. Like I said, more Terraria content, more Terraria helping hands, top fives, as well as other games. So I do want to focus on Portal Knights at some point too. Our main focus will be Terraria though. I will be, as always, doing that. So don't worry, I won't forget about you. Oh, hello, what just dropped? Oh, an intimidating tactical shotgun. Well, hello. That's really great for rangers and much alike. We'll go ahead and hold on to that. That's very nice. Little pickup here. So I actually got what? More than 10. Yeah, I got 14 ectoplasm. Okay, probably enough to last for a little bit. There's 15, so I may just call it a day here. There we go. That was pretty cool. There goes some spores making quick early work of those casters. Very cool indeed. I love that. And of course, I can't heal. Hey! There we go. Look at that. Very nice. That is what I'm talking about when it makes it easy. Of course, nothing st from him. A staff would have been nice, but whatever. Alright, so let's just get out of here. Can I just kill you really quick? I just want to kill you really quick. Oh, is that a sniper? Okay, maybe I am getting a little bit greedy right now, but sometimes you just gotta take a chance and you never know what you may get. I don't want that sniper to spawn. I want to go ahead and get him really quick. I'm trying to hurry up and go over there and get him. We may get a sniper rifle, which is another great pickup here if it happens. Hey! Stop it, stop it, stop it. There we go. Once again, spores prove they're very helpful. Oh, hello, rocket launcher. Well, oh my goodness. No, that is crazy. There was a whole bunch of stuff in one. All right, there we go. We'll grab it all. Anything good? Rocket launcher. Okay, no. All right, that was it. Just a rocket launcher. No sniper rifle. No. All right, we're out of here. All right, first off, you. Lots of clothes for you. Very awesome. And then we can go ahead and grab the ball. These souls, and then go from there, right? We should have plenty of souls. So, I'd say about, what, 15 should be enough for what we got. Make sure we got everything, and that should be what? Um, one, two, three, and three presents. Okay, that's enough for three presents. We're not gonna blow all three in one episode, though. 
Now, there may be some running behind scenes, but at least we'll go ahead and get at least one out, right? Make that a little bit better. Hold on to you in there, just in case. Alright, let's go ahead and wait this out and see how this turns out. Hopefully, we get lucky again. We won't have to do too much grinding to make this all work out in our favor. Alright, we're almost to that point. I went ahead and got some shells for this shotgun, so... Again, we'll go ahead and make some golden bullets. These will actually drop extra money. Normally, if we had the demolitionist here, which we don't at the time, I would go ahead and just craft explosive bullets. They're very damaging, but in the meantime... Again, getting more gold is not a bad thing either way. So, at least we'll go ahead and take advantage of that. And... Again, at some point, we'll expand this house. I know I keep saying that, but we do need to get more people in here. Because it would make a world of difference, again. It'll make everything much more easier. So... Get all this done. Yes, yes, yes! Almost a whole stack of gold dust. It was very expensive. It was like 17 silver, I think, for one. So yeah, you can only imagine how much gold this costs. There goes my inventory again. Can't seem to go ahead and get everything straight. Actually, hold on. Mr. Gunman, I need a couple more bullets. I hate how everything gets uneven. There we go, and then... Do that. Boom. A little bit left over. Awesome, okay. We should be good. Alright, let's go ahead and get this thing started. So, at least I got the shotgun now. 4,000 bullets. Perfect. We are good to go. This setup I got going on right now. Oh, crap. I forgot to grab more potions. Can I grab potions really quick? This is... Oh, regeneration. Okay, well, that may help. Um, anything else in here? No! Okay, regeneration's gonna have to do. All right, we're out of here. Get out of here. Regeneration, do it! Oh, gosh. I am getting wrecked. Well... We should be able to go ahead and progress to this pretty quick, hopefully. Get some life back for all that nonsense. Hey, you opened my door and didn't close the door. There we go. So yeah, this is not the most professional, perfect setup. I wanted to set up a trap for this area, but I kind of just rolled into the next episode. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, we should get past these guys pretty quick. At some point, I definitely will we'll get a more cleaner setup, which means more damage constantly. Which hopefully should mean rolling past this thing. Also, yeah, at some point I will start using that tactical shotgun. Hello, Mr. Everscream. A razor pine from you would be definitely very nice. I love having the razor pine against Duke Fishron. And just overall, it's very helpful even in the celestial events. Okay, yeah, I'm not used to razor pine having, uh, Everscream, excuse me, having so many hit points, especially in expert mode. 16, almost, yeah, 8, was it? Almost 17,000 hit points. A lot of stuff to burn down. Here. Let's go ahead and put this thing to use. Heal. There we go. And hopefully we can get some kills after you. There we go. More gold, please. Okay, maybe this ain't the best thing to do, but... Again. We'll take some advantage of this. Yeah, this is not the best thing. This was probably the best thing right here. It's the constant dodging is necessary. Whoa. Oh, what do we got? Oh, present mimics. Yeah, that's right. These guys are a thing. They're very helpful, though. They drop a ton of health, so... They're like our little potion with ribbons. Go ahead and take advantage of those guys. There we go. Get wrecked! Mainly, it's trying to survive these Everscreams. Once they start shooting their pine needles, it gets ridiculous. These little guys down here, they're crunchy, but they're soft, and they go down rather quickly. This one, he does not go down very easy whatsoever. Oh, I see a sand tank. Christmas hook, okay. That's an upgrade of something. Of some proportions, whoa, watch him, watch him, watch him. See, a sand tank is the big heavy hitter of damage. Especially with them missiles, oh my goodness, heal. Oh, we got a razor pine, that is awesome. Well, at least we died for something good. Whoa, okay, yeah, no, sand tanks are dropping in presents everywhere. So Christmas hook, which I think is better than the aluminum hook. I'm pretty sure it was, if I can remember my numbers right. And then we got razor pine, which I know is definitely very helpful. Alright, so, I'm not in a magic caster's armor. That's gonna be the downside. Maybe I should go back to the dungeon and start farming up some more armor. But yeah, oh my gosh. No, that is crazy. At least we got something here. Alright, well, again, not exactly the most optimal setup, but we did get at what we searched for. Again, if we had a better setup, I could probably go ahead and get to the Ice Queens. Get the Blizzard Staff, which may be nice, but at the same time, my goal was pretty much the Razor Pine. Again, I'm pretty content with that. I still have two presents to go back and do something with if we want to. 
so it's not like it's a total loss, so at least we're prepared with that. Again, we'll go ahead and try to get this at least reforged up a little bit. Get like the mythical, well, I don't think it's the mythical, I think it's the mystic razor pine, rather. Just because of the mana usage, the mana, it's right now, it's only five mana, so you can't get mythical razor pine, but at least, again, we have it, which is really, really awesome. We also have our nice intimidating shotgun, which... Actually, if I go ahead and get some Chlorified Bullets, I think that'd be good to go for Duke Fisheron. That's always a safe tactic that I've used, is the Chlorified Bullets with Duke Fisheron. So again, I don't think I have any left in my chest. That means we may have to go ahead and start farming again. Yeah, I think- actually, hold on. I think- do I have enough bars for several full stacks? Because if we do, this could make the fight very interesting. I think either the Bullets or the Eye of Cthulhu could do really good against Fisheron. To be honest, I haven't done expert mode fish run before, so I don't know how phase three looks like. But I think these should actually work out really, really good. Where are you, gun merchant? I need bullets. I need the bullets. Is he dead? So I think he's dead. And he's dead. Okay, well. Looks like we're kind of boned for right now, then. Dang it. 